Hi everyone, this is Ming Yao from Ozen Engineering. In this video, it's a continuation of my firearm series on how to use simulation to design better firearms. I'm using a model from GrabHack, GrabCAD for a I'm using a model from GrabCAD for the Desert Eagle uh, by the user Tony. So I appreciate all the hard work people put in to create these nice models that's shared amongst the uh, us to, uh, to, to work with. So in, today I'm going to demonstrate a very unique capability in Asus, and that is to, to model the explosion of a, a and detonation of explosives as a part of an explicit dynamic simulation. So here I'm going to use a material. Uh, there's a lot of different explosives av available. I'm using a modified TNT model where I reduce the amount of energy per unit mass, so that is more approximate to that of gunpowder. Uh, then I'm going to set up a, a coupled Olarian Lagrangian simulation where the explosives will be solved in the Lagrangian uh, phase and the, uh, <coughs> sorry, the, the explosives are solved in the Olarian phase and the, the structures and the bullet itself will be solved in the Lagrangian phase. So here's a model. If I uh, split this, you'll see I have the barrel, uh, the, the back of the bullet, as well uh, explosives, simplified explosive area, and the bullet itself. This will be solved using an explicit dynamics analysis. I'm going to. Uh, I think I should. Let's see. The bullet I made out of copper, so I think I'm going to make the bullet in the case and assign this uh, copper alloy. And then the explosives, I'm going to use the, the TNT model for. The barrel itself, I'll model as structural steel, so very simplified model. The nice part about explicit dynamic simulation is body, body interactions are automatically defined and I'm going to rename this and the only one I care about is I don't want the back of the bullet the case to uh, separate from the, the barrel so barrel to case this one is going to be modeled as a, um, a bonded contact with uh, again a maximum of 1.1 millimeter offset and I'm going to uh, suppress everything else and let, let the, S, the solver take care of it. I'm going to mesh this using a 3 millimeter mesh. Okay, now we set up the, the analysis itself. So this will be a um, fairly fast simulation, 2e to the minus 4 analysis. Um, mass scaling, we can turn on some mass scaling, 1e to the minus 7, to try to speed up our the simulation. And uh, the ma main part here, here is we have a Olarian domain control. So we want to specify the Olarian domain. You can choose to do it automatically here. Uh, Olarian domain. Display all body. So, or you can do it manually. Um, program control allows me to specify the mesh size, how many cells to, to model, as well as the scale factor. So if I, for example, put 1.5 in each, each of these uh, XYZ scale factors, so 
So let's uh, let's go to no here, see if that helps. And then we'll switch it to display this. So it should show me the Olarian domain here. Let's try to uh, Okay, we'll move ahead and um, change this to a, a manual. So here we're going to specify the, the minimum coordinate, so minus 10, minus 40, minus 160, and then the x dimensions are 20 millimeters, 40 millimeters, and 200 millimeters. And I want to increase this to 40 to the 5. So this defines the uh, Olarian domain. So now we just need to support this structure. So let's go ahead and support this. We'll do a fixed support here so that my barrel does not move. And then we assign a detonation point. So let's go ahead and hide this part. A detonation point allows us to detonate the explosive. So if I hide this part here, I can select <clears throat> a location. So I'm going to select it here. And I'll move it into it slightly. So I move it in the positive direction by a few a few millimeters, maybe minus seven. So now this will be the initiation point for the detonation. So the the Olarian domain will look something like this. Um, I can go ahead and run the simulation, but this simulation will take some time. It'll take uh, here 200 minutes to run, so three hours or so to run an analysis. Uh, with the detonation point defined, we have a fixed support and the Olarian defi domain defined like so. It actually shows you the size of the mesh. So if you, as you increase the mesh count, it will automatically refine the, the mesh to try to capture the region. The benefit of this simulation is that it gives you a fully coupled fluid structure simulation. It will detonate the explosive here shoot out, you can see it's traveling down through this tube and the pressure is automatically calculated to push the bullet out of the barrel. If we made the dove fluid domain larger, we can see how it, it uh, the gases spread. This is highly parallelizable, so you can run this with uh, uh, more cores to speed up the simulation. Uh, we've done analysis with uh, add-on uh, add parts like silencers and other types of acoustic dampening device, if you wish. So that's the, the velocity part of it. We can uh, We can look at the deformation of the barrel. I can look into the inside of it to see how the, the deformation of the barrel gets affected, gets um, generated. The, darrow, the barrel is deformed with explosion and the motion of the projectile itself inside of the barrel. You can see the the wave of deformation that goes across the barrel. We can also look at the force reaction, probe the deformation of the bullet, and get the stress in the bullet or anywhere else in the barrel itself. So lots of ways to analyze the data and 
This is a really easy way to set up a coupled explosive detonation simulation along with the structure to look at the motion of the Lagrangian solids as well as the Eulerian liquids. So uh, if you have questions on this type of application, feel free to reach out to us at OZ Engineering. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.